would like to see changed in America right now? The president, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a choice for Hi there. My name is Charles Hortel, and I am not a candidate for office. I never will be. I'm just a concerned citizen. Um, thank you all for being out here. It's an honor to be with you. How many of you remember Joe the Plumber? Yeah. Was he right? Yeah. yeah. He, was, he was half right. This is not a socialist administration. This is an administration that seems to take its teaching from our long-dead friend, Mr. Marx. In uh, May of 2009, I had the privilege of being on CNBC in London with Mark Faber. And there I said that this administration is waging a war on capitalism. Is that what we elected these people to do? No! Do we believe in capitalism? Yes! Yeah. It's created more wealth for more people all over this planet than any other form of government. And instead of promoting capitalism, these people are spending our grandchildren and great-grandchildren's money on reckless projects that make no sense at all. In, in, in December, President Obama was on the TV with uh, Oprah, and he was asked to give himself a grade. Now, we've never seen any of the President's grades, because he won't share his transcripts. But he gave himself a B-plus for 2009. What kind of a grade would you give the President for 2009? Well, this is a team that would seriously say to the teacher, an F is a good grade, because it's 63, that's a preponderance of majority of points above 50%. They would think an F is a good grade. It is time to rise up, get to the polls, make our votes known, and throw these people out. We need to end the war on capitalism. It is not working. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, no, actually, I just want to tell you a very quick story. A, about not 15 or 20 minutes ago, a guy called me from West Virginia. Apparently, Delora was on Neil Cavuto. What she was doing on Neil Cavuto, I have no idea. But uh, apparently, she was on Neil Cavuto, and uh, Cavuto asked her a question about this small business tax cut, and she couldn't answer the question. Apparently, this is according to him. I haven't seen it. Uh, dodged and weaved and bobbed and weaved and couldn't answer the question and refused to answer the question. And this guy from, from West Virginia was so mad at Deloro, he jumped on the internet and just donated a hundred bucks to Jerry's campaign. Yeah, by the way, folks, Jerry Larbriola is the only Republican congressional candidate to sign that commitment for Connecticut I rambled on about earlier. And he's going there to commit to you folks. It's a, it's a tough district filled with a lot of very liberal people. Uh, are you here? you have anything, Bob, or are you just standing up? Oh, okay. I can, look at this, I can hold a mic and, a, and a, an umbrella at the same time. That's about the extent of my skill level. Uh, anybody else want to come up and say a few words before I start singling people out and have to pick people? Okay. What is your name? Okay. Uh, I would just like to say thanks, everybody, for supporting injustice, inequality, and for a complete misunderstanding of socialism. And fear mongering. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Uh, since you're coming over here to stir the pot, uh, please thank you very much. Um, actually, you know something? I'll tell you what, Eric. You, you, uh, hey, Bob, can you hold this? Can you do me a favor? Since you said that, tell me how we promote injustice. Come on, I'm going to let you speak. I'm not. I'm going to be. Everybody, let's be respectful. We're going to support your speech. Tell us. Tell us why we why we stand for injustice. And I will hold the mic. Just I'm going to hold it, but you can say just no clean language. Don't start any trouble. Go ahead. I just feel that by the uh, the fear mongering and by playing Obama off as if he's a socialist and he's you know this is socialist and he's reading all these programs. 
in effect, you're affecting everybody who's not as well off as you are. The tax, tax, tax hikes in, in a whole are supposed to help the, the less uh, wealthy, the, the poor. And, uh, you know, this whole division here is totally missing the point of everything. And I'm not saying Obama's perfect. I'm not saying Obama's perfect. But I'm saying that this, in, in a sense, is supporting corporations which are just serving to exploit and just pretty much making this country what it is, an awful place. You know something, I want to thank you for saying the, the corporations thing. Bob, you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. People work in those corporations. Let me tell you something. Someone was talking about poverty here. The ten poorest cities in the United States, right? Yep. They're governed by liberals okay. for decades. Yep. Some of them forever. They have poured money in there, and poured money in there with the socialist strategy and the socialist philosophy. And what happens? The poverty grows. Detroit, Chicago, Cincinnati, Philadelphia, El Paso. You go around the country. That's what socialism brings you. It continues to keep people dependent on the government. We are trying to liberate people and get into those cities and get some free market principles in place where there's enterprise, where you spur enterprise and jobs open up. Otherwise, they're just stuck being dependent on the government. Let me, uh, I just wanted to say something, because you said something that I think most of us agree with. Um, Eric, correct? Yes. Eric said something about corporations and big corporations. What I would like to do, I assume most of us are, are Tea Party folks here, how many of us oppose the bailouts for corporations? Can we have a sign of hands? Okay, hang on. I, I promise I'll give you the hood off. It's because the president's coming and we want to agree. Oh just God. so you guys know. Uh, is he coming now? I just got the word on I'm not cutting you off. Okay, so we, we vote. Do we vote the green? The statistics. As unions decline, the, the middle class is being completely destroyed. <laughs> How is that? Okay. Yeah. Show can, can, I, can we go one issue at a time? We'll go back and forth. People will talk to you. Will that be okay? Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm going to take off in a minute. But. That's okay. Listen, we, you're welcome. You're an American. You can talk. In terms of the unions, the reason why we... It's not that we oppose unions. People should have the right to join a union if they want to. But when you're paying... Take, take state of Connecticut. When you're working for a state-run uh, nursing home and you make double what it takes in the private sector. Uh, how is, can you, do you, is that, is that fair? Uh, no, but it essentially, I mean, if that's under a union, then that's, I mean, that's fair. All right, well, listen, we don't, look, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody, just watch the language. Repeat the question. Okay. If, if a, we know, um, and Tom Foley talked about it, I know this for certain, the people who work in the private sector, make about half of what they make in the public sector. Is that something that you consider fair? No, but that, I mean, that's not based on, the government is, is it regulating what they're making in the private sector, that's the problem with the private sector. I mean, they, they're regulating, but they're making up their own private savings system. Tom, Tom from West Haven. Tell, you want to come up on the stage? You want to stand right here? Okay, tell them. You don't have to be, are you an American? Okay, are you uh, a Tea Party person? I couldn't tell you how to... 